back in the house of God one more day. Amen. If I can have a subject today, it would be to pray when you're up, pray when you're down, All right. amen, right. and watch God bless you, All right. yes, sir. amen, yes, sir. because we're not just supposed to pray when we just need something, amen, we, we've got to be in tune with God at all times. 
Amen. Because we want him to be there for us. But we've got to be there for him. Amen. We've got to be there for him in order for him to be there for us. Because a lot of times, you know, we have so many of us, we get uh, blessings from God and then we forget about it. All right. And then we go on and on about our daily lives and then once things start to get down again, here we go. We want to call on God again. Amen. But if we just pray to God every day, you know, we got to understand that you don't have to always be on bending knee. All right. Which is good to be on bending knee. All right. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's good to be on bending knee, but sometimes you're not in a position where you can get on bending knee. All right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh, you can be on your job, and you know sometimes you can't get on your job and bend down on your knee. All right. But you still can pray to God. And nobody has to be hearing you. And you can be praying to God in spirit and mind and in truth. Come on, somebody. So we, we have too many excuses for not praying to God. Amen? And then sometimes it's, it's, it's what we pray to God for. Come on, somebody. Uh, I'm coming out of the book of Daniel, uh, the ninth chapter. And the third verse. Amen. We all know the story of Daniel and the lion's den. Amen. 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 So we're not going to touch on that, but that's an, ex an example of God showing up when we need it. Right. Amen. If you, if you have your prayer life up, God will be there for you when you need it. Because uh, uh, sometimes if you get in a situation, you may not have time to be praying. Amen? Right. Amen. So we really got to be careful what we ask for sometimes anyhow. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Because a lot of things we pray for, we may not even need it then. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because there's a lot of things God got to straighten out for you before you get what you're asking for anyway. Right. Amen. Because we... We've got to be real and true about things today and be real and true to who we are yeah. and stop pretending to be something that we're really not. Amen. Because when you do that, some things will catch up with you. Yeah. Right. Amen? Pretending to be who you're not. So we got to stay up on that prayer life today. I don't know why God has been, he just been putting this on me for a while. But it's good when God puts something in your spirit and then you start getting revelation on it. Right. It starts coming back at you. You keep hearing things. People keep coming to you saying things. That's when you can really know God is in something. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, the devil is really busy because as I was studying last night for this lesson, you know, I got a lot of my stuff still packed down, you know, and, and, and in storage and all of my dictionaries and my, my, my thesauruses and everything is, is still in, in, in uh, storage. But I've been using my phone all the time of, of the things that I've been wanting to look up. But last night, that dictionary would not work on my phone. But I said, the devil is a lie. I'm going to get this out today. Because you can tell when God is in something because the devil try to step in and, and, and create some chaos in it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to start in that third verse of the ninth chapter. And it reads, Then I set my face toward the Lord, God, to make requests by prayer and supplication, with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. And I prayed to the Lord my God and made my confessions and said, O oh Lord, great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant and mercy with those who love him, with those who keep his commandments. We have sinned and committed iniquity. We have done wickedly and rebelled, even by departing from your precepts and your judgments. Amen. Amen. The reason I, I, I chose Daniel today uh, is to
let everybody know that sometimes it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter what your title is when you're praying to God. Because Daniel was a man of faith. Daniel was a man of God. But during this, this time when, when, when he was uh, in Jerusalem and, and, and he started praying for God to come in and, and help out on some things, Daniel realized that some of his prayers wasn't being answered. And sometimes, you know, we, we be so quick to start judging somebody else. And, and really what we need to do is take a step back and look at our own thing. You got to take a step back, whether you are a minister, preacher, evangelist, prophet, it doesn't matter. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we got to step back and take a look at our own selves. Amen. And we got to step back and look at our own surroundings and see what's going on around us. Because sometimes, you know, we can be out of line with God. We got to be real about it. Be real and true. And stop complaining all the time when what you need to do is look at yourself. All right. Amen. And, Amen. And that's what Daniel had to realize. He had to take a step back and, and look at his surroundings of things that were going on. And he had to just talk to God and start praying a little more. And, and, and God had started giving Daniel visions and dreams. And one dream that he had, he was dreaming about a ram and a goat. Amen? Amen. And he knew that he didn't understand why he was having this dream about this ram and this goat. And I'm bringing up this to say this, that when we're praying to God, that's the time we need to start looking at our surroundings. Amen? All right. Because it doesn't matter what you're praying for or what kind of blessing that you're praying for. We got to understand that we got to look at our surroundings and who's around us when we're praying to God. Amen? All right. Amen. And then the Bible or the scripture tells us that the effectual prayer of a fervent prayer of the righteous prevaileth much. Amen? Amen. Amen? So, that tells us that we got to look at what we're praying about. Amen? Uh, is that prayer in line with God? Amen? Uh, is it uh, a fervent prayer? Amen? A lot of times we we got to understand that it's not all about us all the time. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. Uh, when you're going to God in prayer uh, to ask Him for what you need Him to do, are uh, you putting anybody else in there with that prayer? Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. That's part of a a, a, a fervent prayer. Uh, why are you praying? For a financial blessing for yourself, that's somebody that you know that needs a financial blessing themselves. Right. Come on, somebody. We got to understand what a fervent prayer is. All right. yeah. Amen? Yeah. So while you're in prayer, pray for somebody else sometimes. Sometimes we got to go to God even if it's not for ourselves, Lord. I know I need something for myself, but I want to pray for sister so-and-so tonight. Come on, somebody. All right. It's not always all about us. Come on, somebody. Right. While you're in prayer, pray for somebody else. All right. yeah. You know that there's a man that you may pass by every day on the street. Pray for that brother. Lord, I'm asking you for what I need, but while I'm praying... Pray for the brother down the street. Come on, somebody. And then we got to understand that why are we praying just because we're not hearing anything from God? That means he's not working on it. Amen? All right. 
And, and, and Daniel had to understand that. He had to understand that God was telling him that it's not that I'm not hearing your prayer, but it's not time yet. Amen? Because I got some things behind the scenes that I'm working on. Amen? It's, it's just not your time yet. Sometimes we got to understand when we go to God in prayer, sometimes it's supposed to be in the near future. Amen? Because God is working on some things ahead that is going to work out for your good. Amen? Right. Amen. Because we got to understand that why are we praying to God? We got to understand that a lot of our situations are different than what it might be for somebody else. Amen. Because we'll look quick at how God is blessing somebody else, but we don't know what that person went through and how long they had to wait. Right. So that means you got to wait. Amen? Amen. Yeah. I'd rather have it right than to have it wrong. Amen? Amen. Because you may be asking for a financial blessing, but you got somebody in your life that's going to mess it up for you. Amen? Right. So I'd rather wait on God and, and pray that fervent prayer and be ready when that blessing comes. Amen? Right. Amen. We got to understand that we got some no good people in our lives. All Amen? Right. We just got to be real and true about it. It don't have to be somebody in your life or, or so to speak, like your, your, your wife or, or, or your husband. It can be just somebody around you. Amen? Yeah. But sometimes we got to realize even if we have to get rid of somebody in the family, we got to do it. Amen. Because they are the ones that is blocking our blessings. Yeah, Amen? So we can't keep continuing to uh, just make complaints on our pastors or other things because we're not getting a blessing. All right. That's why I say, while you're praying, you got to look at your surroundings. Amen? You know, if, if, if you be in tune with God the way you're supposed to be, while you're praying, God is speaking to you anyway. But if you don't have your spiritual eyes open or your spiritual ears you're going to miss what you've been asking God for anyhow. Amen? Right, man. Yeah. So we got to be in tune with God. And that's why God gave Daniel the visions that he gave him. Because the scripture tells us that uh, the significance of the description of uh, the goat and the lamb, uh, the scripture tells us that he was talking about Persia and Greece. So we got to be in tune with God. If we're not in tune with him, we're not going to understand when he does come and try to give us uh, what we need. Amen? Amen? Because a lot of times he's coming to give us what we need, but we're turning it away. Amen? Right. Amen. Uh, where, where we're looking for the blessing is not the right place. Amen? Right. If right. you're not in tune with God, then you're going to miss out because he's telling you to look here and you're looking over there. Right. So you're missing your blessing. Amen? Amen? We got to understand that God will come to us in, in many forms uh, right. through different people. Yeah. All right. You know, it could be somebody right up under you and you don't even know it. Yeah. And you're turning him away. Right. Amen? Amen. We, we've got to be in tune with God and make sure our prayers are effectual mm -hmm. and fervent. Yeah. Because we ask for the wrong thing sometimes. That's right. Uh, uh, to give you a perfect example, if we pray to God to make us a millionaire, well, not even a millionaire, just say, Lord, I need a $200,000 house. Come on, somebody. Uh, do you have a job where you can pay for that $200,000 house? All right. All right. Come on, somebody. Uh, I believe if you're praying to him for that, you got to let him work on that. All right. He got to give you the job to be able to have the $200,000 house. Amen. Amen. You can't move in a $200,000 house. And you're barely making 15000 a year. Come on, somebody. Right, right. That's not in line with God. Right. That's not in tune with God. That's not a fervent prayer. 
We, we, we got to be real and true to God. Amen. 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 We all want things, but we got to let God work on it first. Amen. All right. All right. And I mean, there's a lot of things that I, I want, but I know God got to work on me to be able to get that. Amen. All right. And I got to stay true to his word. Amen. 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 So Daniel, uh, he understood that. And he understood that I got to start paying attention to my surroundings. Because God let him know in the scripture, what you asking for right now is not the time. It's in the near future. What you asking for is not the time because I got to take care of some other business. I got to move some people out of the way that shouldn't be there. I got to put some other people in place and in position for you to be able to get what you need. Right. Amen. We got to understand that. We got to go to the scripture uh, to God too and, 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 and see some things. Amen. 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 Because when we're praying, that's part of our spiritual warfare. Amen. All right. All right. So we got to be able to go back to God. Amen. Amen. So while we're praying, we got to look at what we're praying for and be able to wait on God. And a lot of times we, we're praying to God and then we start getting in God's way instead of waiting on Him. Amen. Amen. We Amen. begin to start pe telling people, oh, the Lord bless me with this and the Lord bless me. Did He really? Hmm. Are you sure that's what God bless you with? Because when God really truly bless you, right. you're not going to lose what He bless you with. All right. All right. Amen. You, you go out there and get that $20,000 car and, and say the Lord bless me, but you know you can't pay for it. Amen. Right. You know you got too many bills to be able to afford that thing. Amen. We got to let God work on some things around us and move, remove some things out of our lives. Amen. 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 We got to be real and true today. You know, and, and, and we're just not real and true as Christians like we say we are. Amen? Uh, prayer starts in the church. Amen? If, if we can't get prayer right with, with one another or one accord, how can we get it right in our own lives? Amen? The Bible says we have to be on one accord. Uh, why should he bless you in a family that's disrupted? There's a lot of chaos going on. You got a lot of chaos you're doing on your job. Why are you praying? Do you tell God that, Lord, there's some things that I'm not doing right. But you don't have to tell God because he knows you're not doing some things right. All right. Because there's some prayers he just not going to answer. All right. Let's be real and true about it. Yeah. We've got to be real and true because we're not coming to God in the right way. For some of these prayers that we answer, we asking him for, amen? amen. And this is the place to get it right, amen. Right. And and be true Christians of God, especially in the church. Love on one another, call on one another, check on one another. We gotta understand that sometimes when somebody's going to God in prayer, it's one of us that He's gonna use to bring that that prayer for them. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. You know, people in the church that get scared because they think a prayer is always about money. It's not always about money. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Amen. We need other things in our lives other than just money. All right. Because a lot of us are just not ready for the financial blessings that we have. That's the reason why we keep going through the same thing over and over and over. And we don't realize that we're going to God for the same prayer over and over. That's the time when you need to take a step back and look now, wait a minute, something is not right. Amen. Something is not right because I know what the things that I'm doing, but something can't be right because God is not hearing my prayer. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing before you come back in the house of God? What are you doing for somebody else? What kind of life are we leading? Amen? Amen. We be so quick to judge one another 
and look at others because they're being blessed and we're not being blessed. We got to take a look at our own selves. Amen? Amen. Amen. You keep making the same mistake, you got to take a step back and look. Something I need to change. Something I need to change. But that's the only time that we need to have our spiritual ears open and our spiritual eyes so we can see God move. Amen. 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 We can see God move. We can see it and we can hear it. Because a lot of times we have too much going on in our life, the reason why we can't hear from God. Amen. So that's why when you when when you get on that bending knee, make sure that it's a fervent prayer. Amen. Make sure that it's something reasonable that you're asking God for. Amen. Amen. We we're looking forward to seeing too much of a miracle. It, and, and a lot of people have started to lose faith and doubt in God thinking that God doesn't work miracles anymore. Just because you don't see him working them don't mean he's not working them. All right. Amen? Amen. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that have some testimony that can tell you something and make your mouth dry. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. But we know if we be real and true to ourselves, we, we know that God has blessed us a lot of times. He's answered some prayer, prayers that we don't even deserve. God will show up at times you wouldn't. Hmm. Lord, look at God move. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We got to be real and true. It may not be that big uh, blessing that you're looking for or that you pray to God for. But thank him anyhow. Thank him anyhow. Amen. A fervent prayer. And that's what Daniel had to realize. He knew he was a faithful man of God. But he started to have a little doubt in God and forgot that God was working behind the scenes and that he was not ready for what he was praying for, for, for uh, Jerusalem. Amen? Amen. Amen. So if I could have that word today, that's what it would be. To pray when you're up, pray when you're down. And watch God move in your life. Yes, but just sit there and wait on it. Yes, and don't try to interrupt him. Amen. And get yourself right. Amen. Amen. And it starts right here in the church. To get it right. Yes. Because the scripture tells us that we've got to be on one accord. Yes. And we've got to be working together. Amen. In them different body parts that he's talking about. All it can right. be no separation. Everybody got to be together and connected. But we got to understand that if, if, if within the resources, if we can't help something or help somebody or a situation, we should be able to go somewhere else to help somebody. All right. Amen? Amen. 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 That's what he's talking about when he's talking about the different functionings of the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. So if we can just do this in the church and have an effectual, fervent prayer. Amen. Amen. Right. And let's start just checking on one another and calling on one another. And, and, and at one time, I, I, I believe we had where we would call on one another in the church and just say a prayer with one another. Amen. And, and, and maybe we need to start doing this again, you know, within the church. Uh, you know, I, I, I've got to say I kind of slacked off myself. But maybe we need to just start calling one another and just checking on one another, you know, and, and, and saying a prayer over one another. But one other thing that God has been putting in my spirit that we as ministers, we've got to start laying hands on one another a little more. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I, so I, think, I hope I said something to sit down in somebody's spirit 
you know, to let you know that it may not, it may seem like God is not hearing you, but He is hearing you. And what you're asking for is on the way. It is on the way. But just be humble and wait on God. It's not 